you have some really good things coming in the spread, by the way. So I'm excited to talk about this. So um, first of all, while I was shuffling out the message for you, um, the, the message that I got uh, initially was uh, a very, very idealistic and a very starry-eyed woman. So I don't know if this is you for those that are women uh, watching this, or this is a person that you're dealing with who is going to be very significant um, for the next, what, six, seven days, okay? So that's the first one. This is somebody I feel like they want to change the world. They want to make a world a better place. Um, they, they suffer immensely when they see people behaving cruelly or um, just, you know, in a very uh, impolite or even uh, inhumane way with one another. And this is somebody who's very starry-eyed, very idealistic, and they have... They want to make the world a much better place. So I feel like you're dealing with somebody or you are the person that is has like a humanitarian streak about you and you have big visions, big, big, big dreams. And I feel some of you who are watching this, you might be a little bit on the younger end, you know, in your um, possibly in your early 30s. And you're just like, when I get out there, when I finish school or when I get that job or when, you know, I am financially stable, I'm going to make the world a better place or, you know, the world needs to watch out for me because I'm going to make it big and I'm going to be either famous or I'm going to be um, a force to be reckoned with pretty much. I feel like you have big goals, big dreams, big plans. And you're very hopeful as well in 2019, which I feel is really, really good for you. This is going to be a really good year for Capricorns. Uh, last year was a big year for adjustment. This year is a really, really good year for kind of like the dust to settle. And for you to, you know, once the dust settles, you start to figure out uh, your sense of direction and you start to kind of see things clearly, okay? So when I shuffle out the cards, the image that I got was, um, I see this man, he has a big truck and, um, he's probably like in his forties and he's, he's wearing shorts and like, um, a collared shirt, like a button short sleeve button up shirt. And, uh, he's getting ready to go somewhere. So he's loading the truck and then he's hauling a big boat, like a yacht or a really, really big boat, uh, behind the truck. And he's getting everything ready. He gets in the boat and he drives away. So what I'm sensing automatically is um, I feel like, you know, for this month in general, finances will be really, really good for you. It's very stable where you have enough money for leisure activities. You don't have to nickel and dime yourself. You don't have to really watch your spending so much because I feel like many of you are in a at a point where you're able to afford, you know, luxuries, you're able to, for example, afford a boat, afford a yacht, go on vacation and not have to worry that you're going to, you know, need to make ends meet. So I feel like financially, you guys are in a really good place. For those who are self-employed specifically, um, business is booming. Okay. We have here the nine of coins. This is the nine of pentacles, self-employment things like that, sailing over your financial worries. And especially if you guys have a business partner, I feel like um, the business partner is really helping bring everything, uh, bring prosperity into your life, okay? Um, I feel like not only is it financially, um, not only would having, would having a business partner be financially like a sound choice, but you're also, your, bus your, your business partner complements you in a very, very good way where the two of you kind of expand, the business partner might encourage you to um, take a few risks that will actually be really good for you and that will actually bring about a lot of fame and fortune. You have a business partner who is very savvy, somebody who's quite adventurous. They need you uh, to kind of tone them down, you know, to, to be a little bit more practical, but you need them because they allow you to take risks. They allow you to see things from a bird's, you know, eye view. And they also, uh, they're very, very good with people. I, I feel like interacting with people. So those of you who have a business partnerships and you're self-employed even, um, business is really going to be very good this year. 
Um, I'm feeling for those of you who are working under other people, there might have been somebody that recently left the work environment, somebody that you might have been very close to, you really care about, like I feel like you really care about this person and uh, their absence is going to be felt, okay? It, it's almost like longing or missing somebody. Um, their absence is definitely felt from your heart. And, you know, many of you, you guys are creatures of habits as well. So if you're used to seeing somebody, even if you don't interact with them on a regular basis, but if you're used to, as part of your routine, used to coming to the office, passing by somebody's office or passing by somebody's room or somebody's workspace, and then all of a sudden they're no longer there, it can feel a little bit empty. So I, I feel this element here about yearning and longing, like somebody has recently left the work environment and um, the person might be that idealistic woman that I met, I uh, saw earlier. It's somebody that dreams big and, you know, they, they, they want to seek new opportunities to kind of uh, make a difference in the world, make their mark in the world and leave a legacy for themselves in the world. And I feel like from your end, you're just like, this person is very, very idealistic, but they have, um, you know, good intentions. So I support them and I, I support their goals and their achievements. But I feel like from your end, this is a person that might feel a little bit, they just might be a little bit too impractical, not in a bad way, but I feel like from your end, you're just like, they're constantly darting around. They're constantly looking for, you know, those big ideas and big dreams. Um, so that's what I'm sensing. For those who are in a committed relationship, um, there's this element here about travel. And uh, I see people going to very, very expensive either hotels, restaurants, or theaters, or performances. Really expensive, very expensive places. And I feel like your uh, significant other might be footing the bill. Like they're and it's not like they're financially strapped. I feel like they're in a good position. So I see a lot of dining and whining. So this is going out, enjoying the nightlife, having a really, really good time, dressing up nicely where you can be seen and going to places where things are happening and, you know, um, amongst the movers and the shakers, that's what I'm sensing. And, you know, you're dressed up very nicely. You have a cocktail and it, it's just like enjoying the nightlife. And I just keep feeling like somebody is pouring you drinks. Like, here, have another one. Do you want another beer? Do you want another drink? Do you want something to eat? Like, going to really expensive places. And like I said, somebody is, you know, paying for it. So it could be going on a business trip. The company is paying for it. Or if you're traveling with a uh, significant other, I feel like there are many date nights. And they're footing the bill, they're paying for everything, and I feel like you're gonna have such a good time, okay? I mean, relationships aren't just about, you know, it's not just about the money, but I feel like in this situation, it's like somebody who wants you to be content, and it could just be for your birthday. Um, they want you to be content, but either way, they're very financially established. You're, you're with somebody who's very financially established, very financially sound where the two of you literally could live on one person's income. And I feel like it might be a business partner or it might be like the significant other, like um, somebody who's making a lot of money and they can't afford to even take care of you. And I also feel you're at a point where your financial resources are growing. You've been saving up, but also your income generating potential is also increasing. So it looks really, really good. I want you to be a little bit careful about your health. Okay, so that did come in um, just now. So discussions about health, discussions about like um, ways in which you can curtail um, excessive behavior. So that could also be overindulging, over drinking as well. And I'm feeling some type of a bloodborne symptom. So I feel like it could be, you know, for example, high cholesterol. It could be high blood pressure. It could be diabetes. It could also be, um, I, I'm seeing like joints as well, especially the, the feet area. So just um, keep those things in mind, okay? Don't go overboard. But I, I feel like if for those of you who are already suffering from these symptoms, just be a little bit careful, especially around the new year and also, you know, your birthday time, we tend to overindulge. Um, 
I'm seeing, I'm seeing like uh, the, the wrist area and then also the uh, shoulder blades, the shoulder area, the, the sockets. So those are areas where I feel like there there might be weakness there there might be weaknesses or there might be pains or there might be things that are creeping up on you. Um, aside from that, what I feel is um, I feel like love relationships are going really really well for you guys this week, and you have full support and a lot of communication coming through from relationship partner. What I feel is I have here an uh, a water sign, King of Cups. This is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is somebody that I feel, you know, they, they have a really, really good heart. It's like they um, they love very, very deeply. And when you're with this person, you know that they're very kind. You know that they care about, you know, you don't have to be someone they love for them to care about you. They care about people. They want everyone to do well, and they want everyone to be happy. And... Um, this is somebody that is a little bit extravagant when it comes to spending. I mean, you know, like they don't they don't look at the price tag. They don't look at how much something costs. But I feel like they have a really generous heart and they're very they, they make magic happen. They're very self-sufficient. I feel like this is a person that might be self-employed. So they have a lot of financial resources at their disposal, and that's why they don't need to, you know, nickel and dime themselves. But this is a really, really good person, and I feel like this is somebody that is going to be taking you out. Um, there's going to be a lot of um, trips, a lot of sites, a lot of things for you to do and see together, new things for you and to do and see together. And I feel like when you're with them, they're so they're so meticulous. Like they, they're very thoughtful. It's like if you're with them and it happens to be chilly outside, they'll give you your, their coat without question. Um, and then when you go on a date with them, everything is already set up. They already have, you know, the reservation. They already have the mode of transportation laid out. They already have everything planned out. First, we're going to do this and then we're going to do that. And then we're going to do that. And then we're going to end in the, the night doing that. So like everything is already planned out and done very meticulously and I, I have this element here about somebody making magic happen surprises very pleasant surprises and i feel like you know you might be spending a lot of time with this person king of cups and the magician you might be spending a lot of time with them or you are being taken care of thoroughly taken care of by this person and then i also have as well the Queen of Swords. This is an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. For some of you, this could be somebody that has left the work environment. For others of you, this is somebody that you could uh, potentially be working with. Or others of you, this is somebody you're also in a romantic entanglement relationship with. And um, I feel almost like there might have been kind of like uh, breaking up, getting back together, like an energy of separation um, between you and this person and I also feel like I almost feel like the two of you communication flows really really well and this is a person that um, this is a person who's very popular I feel like they have a they they either have a lot of suitors or you see them constantly around other people. And so it's a little bit difficult to know if they are exclusive to you. And it's a little bit difficult to know. Um, I And I feel like in the past, it's kind of hard to know where you stand with them. And I feel for some of you, this is somebody you're going to be coming into a lot of contact and communication with. And I also feel like for for some of you, you might have, you know, joint like you might have joined assets together i see you and this person this air sign sharing a lot of um like joint bank accounts um sharing cars sharing property you have you have something that 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 ties you to this person finances or even financial entanglements but i do feel this person is very very fair they're very honest, very trustworthy. So if this is even a business partner, this is somebody that can be a really good uh, source of um, 
they're very reliable. And I feel like, you know, a lot of the times we don't know who we could trust because money changes people. But I feel like all the people that you have coming in with this spread, they're all really trustworthy and they, they do have your best interests at heart. And so I don't feel like you need to doubt your business partner. I don't feel that you need to doubt your romantic partner. And I definitely feel like if there has been a separation or distance from a specific person, there's going to be a lot of communication. There's going to, going to be a lot of opportunities to socialize and mingle and go out and, and see people and catch up with people. And these are not just, you know, acquaintances. These are like significant people that are going to be in your life. Okay. The last thing that I'm seeing here, um, and going back to the, the vision that I saw earlier about the man with the car and the boat and the yacht and, um, you know, getting ready for a trip. Um, I feel like, you know, when you head into the month or at least the year 2019, I feel like for many of you, you're trying to get things uh, off the ground. Like you're, you're trying to get projects off the ground. And I feel like there is a big income increase for many of you. It could be an automatic promotion. It could be a bonus, but I feel like some of you, you're, you're escalating when it comes to the amount of money that you're making. And I also feel like with this excess amount of money, I'm sensing many of you are heavily thinking about self-employment. And um, I'm seeing some people investing or even starting to grow. Um, and I see cannabis. You might have a plot of land. You might have people that are going to do it for you. You might have somebody who's overseeing it. And so you might just be an investor. You might just be um, investing in the business or you might, you know, be the, the, the manager or whatever. I don't even know how the business model breaks down, but I feel like you might even be the one to oversee distribution or even be a distributor while other people are growing for you. So I feel like a lot of investment opportunities um, that many of you are taking and I also feel as well an expanding uh, an expansion of the business. So possibly interviewing new people and um, new people being added into the work environment. Okay. Um, 